Coming to you not exactly live, but not dead yet either, from the infamous Levitasaurus Studios, deep in the heart of the Texas Hill Country, my name is Bob Levitas. They call me Dr. Mac. And this is my TV show. Real Racing 3 is one of my all-time favorite games on any platform. Yes, it's a car racing game. Duh. And I usually hate car racing games. But this one's awesome. It's gorgeous, it's realistic, and it, it, it has thousands of hours, literally thousands of hours, of non-repetitive gameplay. And it's free. Well, kinda. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Most of all, though, it's so much fun that after almost a year of playing regularly, I still play regularly. While it runs on the iPhone 4 or better, I never play it on the iPhone. Why not? Hey, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful on the iPad that playing it on the iPhone makes me feel small. You start the game with enough racing bucks and gold to purchase one car, a Nissan Silvia, and it's all you can afford. But that's good enough to begin a racing career. The game is made up of more than two dozen series with names like Pure Stock Challenge, V8 Muscle Car Hustle, Supercar Master Series, and stuff like that. Each series has four closely matched cars competing against each other. And each series is made up of about 50 events. Now there's all these different kinds of events, like time trials. Um, that's where you race against the clock, or, or you can race against the ghost of another racer. That's pretty fun. Cups are the most uh, prevalent event type, where you race against either 16 or 22 other people uh, in, a, in a fight to the finish. Drag race, just what it sounds like. Short race on a track that's absolutely straight, uh, the twist is that you have to man manage a manual transmission to win. Then there's these endurance races. You start with one minute on the clock and you gain minutes uh, or you gain seconds uh, by completing laps or passing other cars. And the object is to drive farther than the other uh, drivers in the competition. There's elimination matches that pit you against seven other racers. The twist in this one is every 20 seconds the racer that's in last place is eliminated. So don't be last. Other event types, they got head-to-head, -head, they got speed snaps, speed record, autocross. I can't even remember all of them. There's lots. And they take place on a dozen virtual racetracks that faithfully recreate race courses around the world, like Indianapolis Motor Speedway, uh, Hockenheim Ring in Germany, Silverstone in England. It's awesome. You steer your car by either tilting your iPad or tapping the screen with acceleration and braking either controlled automatically by the computer or manually by tapping buttons on the screen. For me, tilt steering with manual acceleration and braking are the best combination. Your mileage may vary. Then there are the training wheels or driver assists. All three of them, steering, traction, and brake, are enabled when you start the game and with good reason. I keep the steering and the traction turned on, but I turn off the brake assist so I can brake as late as possible when I'm going into curves. Every car is a performance, or PR rating, that serves as an indicator of the car's overall performance. The higher, the better. And then when you buy upgrades, the car's PR rating increases. For what it's worth, my highest rated car, at least so far, is a McLaren MP4-12C. It has a 57.1 performance rating, and it kicks well, you'll see soon. Anyway, if you have an internet connection, you can challenge your friends to race, or you can race against time-shifted multiplayer, that's in quotes with a TM, um, which are AI-based racers based on your friends. Now, before I demonstrate my racing prowess, or lack thereof, and show you what a race looks like, take a peek at my collection of cars. It's a nice collection, it's worth like $8 million, but I find myself lusting for a virtual Bugatti Viron. All right, let's, let's let the game speak for itself and check out some racing action. Ready? Boom. You like that? Bounced right into seventh place. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, and then the second. Oops. Yeah. And now I should win this handily. Did you notice that my iPad is encased in a life-proof case? Why? That's so I can play Real Racing 3 or read or, or watch Netflix when I'm in the hot tub. Okay, but I digress. The scoring system uh, is based on racing dollars, fame points, and gold coins, all of which you earn by winning races or achieving series milestones and or completing series. Racing dollars can pay for a new car as well as upgrades and customizations for your ever-expanding garage. And every time you pass a milestone, your driver levels up and receives a reward of racing dollars, gold, or both. Now, racing puts a lot of wear on your car, so every few races you have to take it to the mechanic and pay to repair it. And these repairs take time, real time, uh, so you can't race that car again until the repairs are finished. Uh, which can take up to a couple of hours uh, in real time. Now, you can, if you care to, skip the wait for the small price of a few gold coins. And speaking of the gold coins, while the game is free, you can buy all the racing dollars and gold you like with real money. Now, I've played for a year, and I've only spent five bucks in real money, um, and that was for an emergency. I had to beat a guy. But, re <laughs> but really... Real Racing 3 is one of my favorite games ever on the iPad or any other gaming platform. I'm a little embarrassed to admit it, but as you can clearly see, I've played more than 104 hours already, and I'm only 27% of the way through the game. And that pretty much says it all. Any game that holds my attention and my affection for over a year and over 100 hours of play surely deserves a 5 moose rating. There is one last thing. I still race more days than not, so feel free to look me up and challenge me. My Game Center handle is, wait for it, Dr. Dash Mac. See you on the track. One, two, three, four. Thank you.